All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but I think my stream got interrupted somehow. I'm going to blame either PlayStation or YouTube. I don't think it was on my end. Because I don't have an interruption in internet service. But it looks like I was... Okay. It just cut out, yeah. No warning whatsoever. Sorry about that. So this is actually a continuation of stream number five, but I'm going to go ahead and label it stream number six since we got interrupted. I hope everyone can make it back here. Hello, Gentugo made it back to the chat room. Thank you for coming back. I have no idea what happened. We didn't lose internet. We didn't have a blink in the power. I didn't even lose... I mean, my game didn't shut off or anything. I just glanced at the YouTube channel and saw that I was no longer streaming. I got no kind of notification or anything. The game didn't crash. My internet didn't crash. My power didn't blink. I can only figure it was something maybe on YouTube's end or something in the PlayStation Network. I don't know. But alright, I think where we left off is I was across the valley over there and I come this way. Here, I'll show you. Alright, so there's the ship. And if you come down the road and you hug the right side here... There should be a crate hidden out here. There it is. You see it in the distance? The little light on it? Let's go see what's inside. When I played through this game the first time, there was a sniper rifle in that crate, and it was my favorite weapon in the game. Oh, it's just a revolver. Oh no. Oh no, so I guess it's random. Oh, how am I going to get a sniper rifle now? I don't think they're that common. Oh, damn. That sucks. Oh, but we got some... Oh. Looks like there might be some critters on our radar here. I didn't mean to shoot you bigger. That's the last of him. There was a third Raptodon, I thought. Oh, it was turned into an ash pile. There we go. Hey, Michael, you made it back. Barbarian King, hello, welcome. I don't know what happened to my stream. It just shut off on YouTube's end. It wasn't on my end. My PlayStation didn't crash, and my computer, or my internet didn't crash. Ooh.
that doesn't look good. Old journal. Dad, I'm writing this on the odds that you found your way back here. I'm sorry I wasn't here to see you. They're moving us out of town, all of us. I don't know where we're going. Hoping that wherever it is, they've got a lab as nice as Roseways. We're doing some good work. Real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us, and I don't know when we'll see each other again. And Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention the name Roseway. As far as corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to get into trouble. Okay. Yeah, so the deal here, I remember this, because I, I did all of this Roseway stuff. There is a lot to do here. There's a lot of side quests, a lot of, you know, bang bang, shooty shooty. I, you know, I could level up by doing it all. That's fine. Maybe I will. But it's not necessarily pressing. I mean, we're sent here because we're supposed to find something for that lady that wants the nav. You know, we're trying to get a nav key from her. And she's the one that sent us out here. But I'm not going to bother getting the nav key. I'm just going to go to Cascadia. I mean, maybe I'll... Oh, startled me. Maybe, maybe I'll regret that decision. Of trying to go to Cascadia. try it because I didn't do it in the first game so I'm gonna try it I think there's a way into this oh no we can see inside but we gotta gotta pick the lock to get inside I don't remember if there's anything worth getting Uh, it's probably not worth it. Alright. Well, since we're here, we'll go ahead and see what's going on in the town. Yeah, this one we can open without using any mag picks. We can just use our lock picking skill because we're just that good. A bottle of mock apple cider. It's so pretty. Isn't it? I'd love to make some prop replicas of the items in this game. Oh, hello. I will take that. Let's use the terminal. Welcome B. Martin. Dear sir or madam, effective immediately, all operations in the Roseway Laboratory and Outpost have been terminated. Auntie Cleo values your commitment to serving our company and will arrange your transportation and relocation to one of three available Auntie Cleo worker facilities. Relocation fees will be deducted from pay. If your pay is insufficient, you may apply for a relocation fee loan. Approval of loans requires an audit of your work history. If you would like to apply for an audit, please submit a request form. Please include your audit fee. If you cannot pay for your audit, please apply for an audit fee loan. <laughs> Approval of loans requires an audit of your work history. Thank you for cooperating with Auntie Cleo's relocation and site eraser protocol. 
so see that's the deal is like if you couldn't afford if, if suddenly they decide they're going to shut down where you work and you can't afford to relocate then what else are you going to do but become a marauder you're outside the i think everyone outside the corporate system is just automatically you know an outlaw or marauder or whatever i mean that's just the way it works um that's why I feel really guilty every time I shoot the outlaws and the marauders. I'm like, these were just people who were working and then probably couldn't afford their relocation fees or whatever. Personal files have been purged from terminal memory. All right, fine. What's that? Snake skin. Okay. All right. Employee, you have been fined an additional 200 bits for commerce obstruction. Please, please collect your ticket. Please, clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstruction obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of 200 bits. Should have put up a sign. Don't open raptodons inside. Oh, dang. Yeah, I want to see what's over here. I think we were just out here, but I didn't take a good look. Did I? Oh yeah, I guess I already opened that. Alright. Got some plants over here. Anything to pick? Any fallen apples under the mock apple trees? Oh. Shh. I see critters. Out there. Yep, yeah, that's a big critter. Alright. Let's go into town and see what's what. In the Roseway, the facility that supposedly doesn't exist. Loading screen! Alright! What was the name of the cotton plantation in Gone with the Wind? <laughs> During the loading screens, I ask movie trivia questions that come from a game called Ridley's Games Room Movie Buff Quiz. And I had asked this question, but I don't think anyone had answered it yet. Hey, Pangarito. Okay, maybe it was a YouTube glitch. Michael's asking, can companions die? Um, not in the regular game. I think if you're playing on what they call supernova difficulty, they do. It's permadeath. But in any other difficulty, easy, normal, hard, no. They, they will drop, kind of like in Skyrim. You know, they'll fall out of the fight. But it'll take them a while to get back up again. But they don't die permanently.
Hello there, Burke. You have a name, so we will talk. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. All right, what happened? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Uh, they broke loose. Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist. Name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Okay. Uh, what were you doing out here? What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? No. Sorry for wasting your time, dude. Oh, before I forget. Anti Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Okay, thank you, dude. Carry on. I'll just set about collecting all this Raptodon meat. Can I have these? Nope, it says steel. Let's see what's back here. Steel. Oh, there we go. Oh, it says steel. Why would it say steel? I'd say this has been abandoned. That doesn't belong to anyone. Oh, it's Iceberg Age Whiskey, too. Oh, come on. Alright, nobody needs to know about that. I say if you stash something behind the machinery like that, then it takes your chances. Miner's keepers. All right. Not really a lot of places to go here. They make it look like it's very lived in, but this particular area I remember from my first playthrough, there's not a whole lot you can interact with or do here. Yeah. I guess they're going to finally figure out, you know, eventually that it was me taking all their stuff. They'll be like, hey, there was this strange lady that came to town and she had a couple of dudes with her and then all of a sudden all of our shit went missing. <laughs> Must have been her. Couldn't have been the Sprats. No, I'm going to blame the Sprats. It was the Sprats, not me. You leave your stuff out and the Sprats are going to nibble it, you know? <gasps> they have chickens. Hello, chicken. Oh, there's the comms building. I guess that's where that guy is. Alright. Uh, yeah, alright. Let's go talk to him. I don't think we can go anywhere else till we talk to him. Hello? Hey there. If you've come to end my life... Let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? One of what? 
Uh, you must be Anton Crane? I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Hey, hello, Celtic Granny! I see you in the chat room! How are you? Oh, thank you, Barbarian Kings! I think Barbarian Kings passing out hot cocoa and cookies to everyone. <laughs> yum yum! Uh, everything's under control. Uh, uh, let's cut to the chase. Tell me what happened. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Okay, I can use my persuasion to get some XP. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea what's at stake. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. This is all about toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Yeah, sure. Go. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. All right, so it's diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Mm hmm All right. Uh, it's not worth your life. I suppose they want me to remove the cretins and retrieve the research, right? Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Okay. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. Thanks. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Uh, who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll find him if I go that, that way. Will surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Uh, okay then, bye. I don't think I'm going to head out there right now, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look. What have we got going on here? Delta Granny is doing okay. How about you? I'm doing better. I got a decent night's sleep last night, so I am feeling better. Thank you for asking. I'd been kind of just really under the weather the past few days. Not sleeping well. So, I was very happy to get some sleep last night. I think it's made a big difference. We still have our movie trivia question. What was the name of the cotton plantation in Gone with the Wind? Has anyone seen that movie? I've probably seen it several times over the years. Did I Stella make it back to the chat room? I haven't seen her in the chat room. I suppose since this is a whole nother live stream, I also should remind everyone I'm doing a Halloween giveaway to celebrate Autumn Equinox and October coming soon. My favorite time of the year. It's open to everyone everywhere in the world. Void were prohibited by law. Uh, I'm choosing winners every live stream. So I'm going to just keep on giving things away while supplies last. Just let me know in the chat room or the comments or direct message me. Find me somewhere else online. I'm all over the place. Twitter, Patreon, etc, etc. And let me know you're interested. 
this Saturday I'm also doing a Twitchy Tarot live stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jewelsmith. I'll be live streaming some tarot readings and answering questions and hanging out, just being chill. I'm going to try it out and see what happens. I've never live streamed a tarot reading before. I'm going to use my camera the way I used to live stream my uh, Maker Mondays when I would make crafts and stuff and use my camera to live stream my, my desktop. We'll see how that goes. My actual desktop, not my computer desktop. <laughs> And this Wednesday, uh, for patrons and YouTube members and Twitch subscribers, anyone who supports the channel in those various financial ways is invited to join my Discord. And this Wednesday, our movie night, we're going to be watching The Guns of Navarone, which is uh, what they based the Guns of Anchorage, the DLC quest in Fallout 3 is based on that movie. It's an older movie though, I think it's from the 60s, uh, like 1961 or something, maybe the 50s. It's, it's much older. I think it's based on a book that was written in the 50s, but it came out in the 60s. Um, but we're going to watch that together. We're going to do a watch party through Discord. If you have not received an invite to my Discord, but you are a YouTube member or a Patreon patron or a Twitch subscriber, let me know and I will send you another invite if you want to join up with us to watch some movies. And we chat, and I also do little sneak previews and behind-the-scenes things and stuff over there on Discord. But, uh... But yeah, the main thing is we do movie nights. That's a lot of fun. Alright, we have the main quest line. We can go straight to Cascadia. Oh, we can try to find... Yeah, this this becomes a whole long process. There's a whole bunch of things to search and people to talk to and stuff to do. Um, I mean, we're here. Should I do it? Should I go ahead and try to get the research that Gladys wants me to get? Or should I just head to Cascadia and try to fight my way to Stellar Bay? What do you guys think? Oh, Celtic Granny, I'm sorry to hear that. For your birthday, you had COVID. Did you get it again? Because I thought, I remember you saying that you had it before. But, you know, it lingers. I swear. Some people, I think people who maybe, like, they think they get over it and then they get it again, maybe just never really got over it. I know that some people just have it for so long. It's so hard to shake. And then some people get that long COVID thing where they never really shake it off completely. Kelsey Crenny says, me, 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 me. All right, you want to be our Halloween giveaway <laughs> recipient for this live stream? Cool. I have an address on file for you. Should I use the same one? The one where I sent the stuff that you won from the 2000 subscriber giveaway? I can just use that address. And my second question is, do you have a cat? Because I do have some Halloween cat toys. If you have a cat, I will send you a Halloween cat toy. Ooh, Michael's birthday is coming up on October 17th. Happy birthday! I know it's a little ways out, but if I don't see you before then... <laughs> when I was much younger, I used to date a guy whose birthday was on Halloween. That was fun. Oh! <laughs> Michael's making a Fallout reference. Your birthday is the day the bombs fell, huh? Oh, okay. Celtic Granny doesn't have a cat. Well, I just thought I would ask in case. I'll send you a little care package of goodies for Halloween. Now, there's no candy involved. No edible things. 
because that way it'll be gluten free, sugar free, <laughs> fat free, all the freeze. It's just little stickers and things like that. All right, well, what are we going to do? Are we going to head to Cascadia and try to fight our way to Stellar Bay, or shall we go try to find the research that we can take to Gladys so she'll give us the nav key? I'm not particularly, you know, I don't have my heart set on one way or the other, so whatever you guys think we should do. Oh, there's I, Stella. Hello, Stella. Michael loves candy. Yeah, I figured it would just be easier. There, the reason I wanted it to all be paper things, you know, greeting cards and stickers and stuff like that, is so it would be easier to mail around the whole world. Then I wouldn't have to limit it to just the U.S. And plus, you know, there's an awful lot of restrictions and, and import taxes and weird things that happen. Um, and, and with shipping the way that it is right now in the world, um, you know, stuff gets delayed or lost and, you know, it's just easier to send small, uh, you know, envelopes with, with stickers and stuff than, uh, than it is to, to try to mail a package with candy, things that can melt or, you know, be confiscated at borders and things like that. Every country has different uh, rules about what you can import. Now, some people probably, you know, break the law and just do it anyway, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to get anyone in trouble on the other end. But, uh, you know, I'm a jewelry maker as well, and I have been selling jewelry, you know, designing and making and selling jewelry uh, for, for years now, decades, actually. And with jewelry even, you know, it, there were some countries where you couldn't import certain types of metals and... Um, you know, certain certain countries wouldn't even allow imports of jewelry over a certain value, and you know there was all these rules involved. So <laughs> it gets very complicated, and it can get very expensive. Just trying to keep it simple. So no candy, unfortunately, this time around. All right, I'm not hearing any votes for one way or the other, so I'm going to head to Cascadia. I think I'm going to try that. If this Jameson is fated to die, it'll be pointless to intervene. Then again, maybe we're fated to save him. Maybe. Maybe we are, Max. Maybe you shouldn't believe in fate so much. You know, and, and just try to do what's right. And the right thing would be to try to save him, wouldn't it? Do you have a name? Nope, you're just a recruit. Oh, you're the guy we already talked to. That's Burke. Alright. Let's see what else is over here. Oh, what's this? Hello? Orson Shaw. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Uh, I'm not here to kill you. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Ah, uh, I heard there was a bit of trouble and thought I'd check it out. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if you got the carbon in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. Okay. Of course, because I didn't. Hello. Hello. We're gonna get this solved. I'm clicking and nothing's happening. I seem to be stuck here. <laughs> okay, I hit the O button and it backed out to this. Hello. Oh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. What are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. Okay. I will use my science skill. 
and tell him that if he runs a wire from the capacitor, he can bypass the circuit and save power. I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. Uh, do you need a hand? No, uh, well, yes, well, no, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Okay, where's the storage facility? The south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Okay. Sure. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Hmm, I don't think I do. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Uh, okay. Uh, what's back here? <gasps> Ooh, he'll get mad if I pick it though. Okay. Moving on. Now this place says Sisty Pit, which sounds like a restaurant, but there's no way to get through the door. It's just a facade. Ooh. Kind of spent our water reservoir. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill. Over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here if you want. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission. Alright, sounds like they're giving me a hint about where to find a secret way into the lab. If we can find the ventilation shaft, maybe we can bypass a bunch of stuff. That that sounds like a plan. Can I get up here? Nope. There we go. Ah, uh, it's marked steel. Alright, fine. I won't steal it. But let's go in here. The vent shafts are how the what a delightfully dingy establishment. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's going to tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? Sure. You seem eager to get rid of me. I don't really know you. Roseway is supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. All right, let's see what you got. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Mm-hmm. All right, let's sell all our junk. Ooh, deep fried sisty bits. Mm. Bag of tobacco horn ears. Tobacco horn. Is that like tobacco in corn or something? Knock you out, bar. Oh, what's this? Cell value, security blade, two-handed melee. Yeah, I guess we don't need that. Ooh, 
Ooh, elite troop armor, 26. That's high. Heavy armor, yeah. Ooh, this one's worth 81. Oh, it's pristine. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well sell it. Alright, thanks. Bye! Alright, we have our trivia question that's gone unanswered. What was the name of the cotton plantation in Gone with the Wind? Nobody knows the answer? No one's ever seen that movie? Let me take a look at my weapons real quick. I want to reacquaint myself with what I have. Light machine gun, silencer, automag pistol, and a tactical shotgun. Takes light ammo, takes light ammo. I have a lot of light ammo, that's fine. This also takes light ammo. What do we got? Oh, sell value. All right. Well, let's put that in our junk. All right. We have the shrink ray. Yeah. We could try that out. I mean, I've seen it before, but it's, it's fun. The scientist weapons are fun. They're goofy. <laughs> Silly. Oh, we have another grenade launcher. We have two grenade launchers now. So, I will sell one. Alright. Oh! Hello! Let me loot all the things here. I'm gonna go back in and sell all this junk here too. I still is saying, oh I know this. Gentiga says I've never saw that movie. Cottonelle. <laughs> That's a brand of toilet paper. Now we just picked up some rifles. Yeah, this is very much like the tactical shotgun I already have, but mine is leveled up and has some mods on it, so we don't need this. We will add it to junk. Add it to junk. Um, 133, 214. Yeah, I guess we don't need this either. We'll add it to junk. All right, I'm trying to lighten my load. Hey there. Did security talk to you yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they did. It's fine. I'm good. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. All right. There we go. Bye. I still is so you're gonna kick yourself. Shall I give you the answer?
I'll say it the way that they say it in the movie. The answer is Tara. <laughs> Tara. That's what they say, and that's what they what they call it. Tara in the movie. Staying out of sight. All right, let's try the shrink ray on these things. Did I kill it? Oh good. A fight. Huh. I didn't know this is actually deadly. I thought it just shrunk things. All right, cool. bodies to loot. Did I shrink them down to nothing? Huh, okay. Alright, so what have we got here going on in our journal? God, this is the worst, the worst way to keep track of quests. I sincerely hope that in the next game that they make, the Outer Worlds 2, you can activate more than one quest at a time because you'll be on a planet or in an, a certain area and you'll have two or three or four quests that all are happening in that area but you can only activate one at a time so you know I, I wish you could activate all of them and then just make sure you didn't miss anything along the way and plus they don't really have it separated out like you know I mean they have companion quests and tasks and main quests, but all these side quests, I wish they were separated by like location, you know? It would make it so much easier. Okay. You've been asked to recover research data and eliminate the outlaws and deal with the raptodons. We have Vulcan's hammer by his brute straps and the distress signal. See all of this stuff. All right, so that's all the way out here. That's all the way over there. Ah, that's the one that's right in front of us. Okay, that's the one I want to do first. And that's all of the above. Okay. Alright, we'll do this first. Think we'll find any freakish experiments locked away in there? Maybe. Oh. There's a mechanical sentry right there. Looks like there's some outlaws back there too. Huh. Okay.
And while we go into the antibiotics lab, I will read another question. Oh, this one also has to do with Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind is set during which conflict? Which war? <laughs> if you know what time period the movie is in, then you should know which war. Especially if you're from the U.S. office key card. That'll probably be helpful. Lots of ammo. Mag pick. Armor parts. Excellent. Lots of enemies. Oh, plasma rifle. Alright, I'll take it. Purple berry punch. Bit cartridges. And let's see what's going on in the... Oh, we gotta hack it. Alright, let's hack it. Lift lockdown. Hallway door. Sure. Hallway door unlocked. Let's see. We need a new code for the armory lock over in the storage facility. They get complicated so Orson can't sneak in there again and do not write it down this time. Use your brains. How about in this order? The month of your birthday. How many security rotations we have per hour. The number of accidents we've had this month involving that damn culture processor. The maximum volume in millimeters of raptodon stomach acid a human being can ingest before we consider it lethal. <laughs> so the code is one, two, three, four. <laughs> but they arrived at that by using very complicated logic. Sounds fine. All right, we've gained the storage facility passcode. Vending machine discovered. Oh, how handy. We probably have more junk to get rid of, don't we? Yep. Uh, sure, let's add it to junk. Add it to junk. Tactical shotgun. Add it to junk. Sell all our junk. Alright, so which door did I unlock? This one? I don't know. Maybe this one? Maybe the storage facility? This is the bathroom. But it looks like there's a wall missing in the back there. I haven't saved in a while, so let me do a save. While you guys answer the movie trivia question. There we go. Oh, my Stella says Civil War. Celtic Granny is asking, what is the most important element in the world? 
Uh, hydrogen? <laughs> Do we mean chemistry element? Yes, Gone with the Wind was set during the American Civil War. I think that movie was made in the 30s? Like 1935 or hey, something look, like that? My kind of door. Your kind of door? The one that's open? And I, the one thing that I know was significant about Gone with the Wind, I mean, aside from being a very, very popular movie, and I think it won Best Picture for the year it came out, but I think it was the first movie where somebody actually swore at the end where Rhett Butler says, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. They didn't want him to say damn. They wanted him to say something else. <laughs> damn was considered a bad swear word. Oh, my well, how times have changed. All right, there's a couple of mechanical sentries in here. Maybe we can short circuit this one. Processing. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. Done and done. Heck yeah. I need a Felix in real life who just walks around behind me going, Great job, boss. Done and done. You're awesome, boss. He says all kinds of uplifting things. I just love it. Ooh, whisper quiet muzzle. Heck yeah. We all need a Felix to just walk around telling us we're doing a great job. <laughs> There's a ladder that goes up, up and up, huh? Easy does it. Ooh, I heard a growl. Experimental notes. Wrapped it on fluid ingestion test objective. Determine the maximum amount of wrapped on digestive acid that can be safely ingested by humans before adverse effects present themselves. Slowly introduce increasing amounts of wrapped on digestive acid 
and into the evening meals of randomly selected workers and observe their overall health. <laughs> this sounds like in Fallout, you know? They're always doing all these horrible experiments in the vaults. Milliliter. One milliliter, minor stomach pain and nausea, safe. Two milliliters, minor stomach pain, extreme nausea, safe. Three milliliters, major stomach pain, debilitating nausea, some vomiting, potentially unsafe in the workplace. Four milliliters, temporary blindness, frequent vomiting, patient unable to describe pain, unsafe. Five milliliters, unable to record symptoms as patient died within the hour. Ugh. So we really shouldn't feel very sorry for these scientists. They are experimenting on the workers. So what happened to them and the rap with the raptodons is just karmic retribution, I guess. Oh shit. Well, well, thank you, guys. Oh. Moap Fizzy Tea. Okay, I'll take that. Who ate my lunch? <laughs> I'm going to try my pistol for a little while. See how that works. It sure is pretty. I'm checking in with the chat room for a second. Oh, water! Celtic Granny says most important is water because you can't make coffee without it. <laughs> Alright, here's another question for you guys. What kind of fish is Nemo in the movie Finding Nemo? Answer that one for me. Here's a terminal. What's that going to tell us? Everyone, I'm sick and tired of cleaning bone out of the culture processor. That's the third time this month. The next employee to get their hand stuck in that damn machine is getting written up. Oh my gosh. We've lost another finger to that infernal culture processor. I am formally requesting new safety brackets be installed as the current ones register with raptodon hide but not human flesh. This is unacceptable. Ugh. Hey Masha, just FYI, gonna need another cleanup in the lab. Purple berry lunch, ketchup. Alright, there was another terminal over here. Oh, do we loot this guy? Oh, this is where we came in, I think. Okay. Are we gonna find this guy alive? Probably not. What do you guys think? According to my records, January 23rd is your birthday. As is protocol, please feel free to enjoy one 10 minute break between your normally scheduled 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock patrol shifts. 
I sincerely hope that on this day you take a moment to enjoy the fresh air of Terra 2, brought to you by the thorough kindness of Auntie Cleo. Regards, Dr. Crane. Why are they drinking out of Skyrim tankards? <laughs> the fastest way to shut him up. <laughs> You're so sassy, Max. Hi. What? How the hell did you get in here? Uh, I shot the raptodons and I walked up the stairs. No, not... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Anton sent me to get you. Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. You're upset that he sent me to rescue you? Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. We can test that theory. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's <laughs> see. Yeah, let's test that theory. Uh, well, whether he gives a shit about you or not, at least you're alive. Let's get out of here. Uh, he said it would look bad on him if more of his employees died. Hand them over then. Let's test your theory. What? No. Come on. There's no call for that. If the way's clear, I'll head on back. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, you're right. Stay safe. I don't think the way is clear, though. He's gonna get eaten. Oh, no, he's going to go out to Roseway Gardens. Okay, I guess he's fine then. All right, well, we found him. There's still a Raptodon in here, though, so let's go fight it. That's it right there. Here we go. That's the last of him! Hey, you know what? Maybe don't fire that thing at me, okay? Now my ears are ringing. You'll have to show me how to do that. Oh, I will. I will, Max. I will definitely show you how to pick my lock. Just, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it later. When we get back to the ship. Is that all the goodies in here? I think there were some goodies in this room with this guy. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Alrighty. Did we look through everything in here? I think we did.
Alright, yeah, this is where we came in. Okay. Alright, so what's the answer? What kind of fish is Nemo in Finding Nemo? Clownfish! That's right! Who got it first? I, Stella! Celtic Granny, right behind. Yeah, she was a little bit faster than you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's another question. Which organization does Clarice Starling work for in the movie The Silence of the Lambs? Oh, this is... Oh, I see. There's like a little walkway back here. We could have come in this way. This is a different entrance than we came in. Oh. Shh. Easy now. Yeah, there's some outlaws out there. System. Sweeping oh, the area. <laughs> System failure. All right, I got it. guys good? You back with me? Let's see what's back here. Let's see how I'm doing. How are my weapons? Eh, decent. How's my armor? Eh, it's alright. What all did we pick up in there? Let's look. Advanced defensive armor. Lab protective outfit. Uh, let's break that down. Ooh, we found a magnification mono lens. Engineering plus five. Maybe? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it gives me more armor. I like that. We got a couple of these. This one's pristine. This one is not. So let's break it down. What 
is this? Anti-riot gear. 21. Let's see what Felix is wearing. Streetwear basic 12. 21. What's it look like on him? Yeah, that looks good. Looks good. I like it. Elite troop armor is better though. What's that give him? No, I don't like the way that looks. That's his normal outfit. I guess that's good enough. Yeah, we'll just leave him in that. We could put the Spacer's Choice <laughs> helmet on him. Uh, Alright. How's Vicar Max doing? Fifteen? No, we need something better than fifteen. What's that look like? I don't know if I like the way that looks on you. Definitely not. Ah, uh, it's fine. Good enough for now. Let's go mess with these people back here. I'm going to do a save real quick. And resume. Do we have an answer to our trivia question? Gentugo says FBI. You are correct, Gentugo! Healthy Granny says, don't know that one, never seen it. Really? You never saw Silence of the Lambs? Man, I thought everybody had seen Silence of the Lambs back in the day. When it came out, it was a very popular movie. Oh no! Chantigo says, my external hard drive on my PS4 went bad. Aw, that's a bummer. I hope you didn't lose too much. Let's creep into the grass here. Oh shit. Ouch. That hurt. I thought there were some dudes over here. Did they disappear? Oh shoot. wasn't paying attention. I was busy trying to shoot mines. All right, hushing up. What is that? I 
Alright, so I've got a big robot and a couple of dudes. And Max went down pretty fast. So let's switch Vicar Max into some better armor. I know, I know. I like him better the way he looks in this, but he's got to wear something to protect his butt. Twenty-two, twenty-six, twenty-three. When he's wearing it, all right. Let's try that. Well, at least we killed those. I seem to be limping. Alright, so maybe those outlaws out there are a bit too much for me right now. But let's turn this quest in. And we'll ask another movie trivia question. What color is Mike Wazowski in the movie Monsters, Inc.? What color is Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc.? We'll go tell this guy that we got his worker back for him and see what he says about that. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. Well, I don't have your research, but I found your associate, Jameson. That is wonderful news. Ooh, that's a lot of worst. XP. Okay. Um, it's good to hear your employees actually mean more to you than your research. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. Uh, then should I mistake it for compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. 
I just wanted to hear you admit you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. Uh, you can see why people might think you're callous, though, can't you? I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. Oh, okay. I'll just take your word for it. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. Is there anybody around here I can lie to or persuade? Get myself up to level 10. What's up here? Roseway Luxury Apartments. Weldon. Hello, Weldon. Who are you? We are experiencing a security event, sir and or madam. Please vacate the premises immediately and return to your domicile or designated workplace. Uh, don't worry, I'm here to help you. You are? But corporate never told me they were sending a fixer. Nobody tells me nothing. Uh, were you at the lab when the marauders attacked? I have strict orders not to talk about anything that happens in a classified area. Please remember that Anti-Cleo Pharmaceuticals is not responsible for any loss of life or grievous physical injury sustained while on company premises. Okay, you said this place was classified? Roseway Lab is a highly classified facility. I am not allowed to confirm or deny its alleged existence. Okay, I'm gonna go look around. Bye. So am I allowed to go in here? I guess I am. What's in here? You're Wah. underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Lemper. She's okay. But and Martinez. Has the highest rate of foot goals per game. And but who are they? The yeah, yeah. There's a locked door there. <gasps> there's a workbench. Okay, maybe I'll use it. Let's make the shrink ray better. I guess I'll stick with what I got here. we got a pulse hammer that looks pretty cool all right Felix has his toss ball stick that does 164 this does 168 but he's got electricity on his toss ball stick which is handy against robots so we'll just stick with that he's got his big gun does 184 yeah so I don't think I need the grenade launcher if he's got one I don't know assault rifle and what is this another assault rifle all right and Vicar Max what's he got the sawed off shotgun And 
109. Telescoping staff. Alright. Let's give him this pulse hammer. I think it's better than this telescoping staff. I don't know if I'm crazy about him having the grenade launcher because he just he hit me with it a little <laughs> or seemed like he hit me with it. Maybe I should give him the machine gun. Yeah, that seems to do more damage. Let's try that out for you, Felix. Alright, that's 12. What do you look like in that? Oh, you look pretty good. But that's 21. Alright, we'll go with that. I do not like him in that, but it's going to protect him until we find something better. Alright. Let's take a look at my armor. It takes a lot to level it up. Is it worth it? Yeah, I reckon it is. if I could make this assault rifle electric. Let's see if I have a mod for that. Because I need something that damages robots more than this. Damage type shock. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Range, range weapon spread. Extend a sight. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure, why not? Don't have any mods for that one. Sure grip. Speed grip. Let's put that on it. Why not? Oh, 
All right, so now I have, let's scrap this one. Because now I have an electric assault rifle that I can use if we run into robots. I don't really whack things that often, so I probably shouldn't even bother carrying around this silencer, but. Since we seem to be dealing with so many robots, I gotta have something electric. And I don't wanna have to get up close to use it. All right, so let's do that. That seems like a good deal. All right, guys, are we good? Are we good to go? Let's continue searching around in here. Unlock with Anton's key card. Okay, is this Anton's lab? No, this looks like, is it his room maybe? Logged on. Welcome, Anton. Personal files. I feel quite alone. Jameson's the only one here worth anything at all, but even he bristles at my direction. This is quite likely a natural reaction to my pushing him so relentlessly. But if he ever hopes to reach Byzantium, he needs someone applying the correct amount of pressure. I hope he'll come to see the truth. But should that prove impossible, I can at least ensure his work doesn't damage my chances. I should be keeping an eye on his reports, too. Heard Jameson talking to Vaughn today. He was railing against me, claiming I'm using him and everyone here for my own ends. I'd expect vitriol from that lazy sod Vaughn, but Jameson? How can he not see that I have only his best interests at heart? All right. With our latest breakthrough, I believe Byzantium is finally within my grasp. My next promotion will deliver me, I'm certain, so long as they don't see through my attempts to cover for the rest of these fools. I can't quite shake the unease I seem to be gripped by. This makes no sense. While I have yet to get Trammel to commit to a specific date, he assures me Byzantium could be a mere few weeks away. So why this encroaching feeling of emptiness? Must be a case of the nerves. I know I'll be accepted and dare I say possibly even revered when I finally arrive. Okay. I don't want his junk. What's he got? Eh, I don't care. I got 500 bits on the Darlings taking the finals this year. The Can I talk to you? On the spacers chosen. Nope, can't talk My to model you. Predicts All right. You have names, but I can't talk numbers. to you. They must be involved in some quest that I haven't undertaken yet. Hi there. Oh, it's Jameson. Thanks for getting me out of there. You're welcome. Uh, what were you doing in there? Oh, we turned the old lab into storage a long time ago. Anton needed someone to fetch precursors, and when Anton needs someone to fetch something, that someone is invariably me. You don't sound thrilled about that. About being an assistant? No, I suppose I'm not. I know as much about this stuff as Anton does, but I'm treated like a child. You know what it's like being shackled despite my potential? Frustrating, that's what. Okay, stay safe. Bye. Anyone in here? Anything interesting in here? Ooh. Wrapped it on handler's armor. Shh, easy now. I will take that. Now what 
What's down here? Is that the oh that's the stairs. Okay, we went this way. Hello, vending machine discovered. Hi there. You have a name. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Uh, have you lived here long? Sure, I guess. I'm not supposed to talk to... I mean, why do you ask? Uh... Roseway seems pretty run down. It was like that when we got here. I heard it had been shut down for years. But the toilet's flush and the roof doesn't leak. Much. Okay. So, you work in the labs? As little as possible. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm staff. Endocrinologist. We've been studying a load of raptodons hauled in from Monarch. Okay, and what's your company doing here? Ask Dr. Crane. All I know is my bit. Analyzing the raptodon equivalent of hormones. Ah. Uh. An interesting scientific endeavor, if I ever heard one. Uh, which hormones? Mostly they're leptin analogs. Raptodons have four different varieties. Concentrations vary based on the season. Leptin regulates hunger. Designer appetite suppressants, maybe? Yeah, we already know this because we talked to Anton about it. But okay, I'll use my science so that I sound smart in front of Vicar Max. Maybe it's for them fat cats up in Byzantium. Okay, enough about all that, I guess. What happened here today? Hell if I know. There were a bunch of folks with guns and a lady yelling about wanting jobs or something. Next thing I knew, the raptodons were loose. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Uh-huh. You look nervous. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Look... I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. Uh, of course there is. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Uh... I don't know what you mean till you explain it. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. What kind of benefits? Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Seriously. Captain, I believe he's making enraptured. It's an aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. And how would you know about what? all that, Vicar no? Max? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Is it an aphrodisiac? Does it work? The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Yeah, okay. So, what's the deal? Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab. The one past that, built into the mountainside. Okay. Anton already told me about the other lab. Uh, don't mention this to Anton. Okay. He's kind of a tight ass about the lab. Like, squeeze coal into diamond type. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. So this stuff is valuable? If you have a buyer. I got a contact who wants to haul the entire batch to Byzantium. Help me out, I'll cut you in for a share. I'll even pay you before I am, when you deliver to me. All right, all right. Great. Uh, this is really going to save my ass. Okay. What's back here? Do I have junk to sell? I do not. Uh, let's take a look here.
Ooh, stimmy lotion. We'll hang on to that. Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Uh, I don't think I need that. Oh, look, we can look at it. I didn't realize I could look at things up close. That's a bunch of nanners. I don't know if I'd want to eat nanners that look like that. very wet it says <laughs> very wet heavy chunkless <gasps> oh that's funny Pet pills voted number one drug in the colony. If you need to stay alert, space your choice will give you perk. Ooh, antibiotics. Harmful status effect. Minus 50%. So it reduces the amount of harmful status effects that we're suffering under? That's pretty good. Watch it all go up in smoke. Skin tough salve. Life is rough. You need skin tough. Interesting. I had never examined all this stuff before. Oh, I can zoom. No? Oh, yes, I can. Ambidextrine. Taste the freedom in this super tonic. Oh, I didn't realize I could zoom in. Whoa. Sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> I am endlessly fascinated by all of the uh, 
the boxes and the artwork and stuff in this is just fascinating to me. Look at the salt tuna. Can salt tuna in brine. Oh. Oh, there it is. Zooming in on it. Real seawater brine. Salt tuna of the deep. Wow. Spacer's Chaw. Oh, here's the one I thought was so pretty. A hard cider for a hard life. Oh, wow. Mock apple cider. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I am so fascinated by all of this stuff, honestly. Uh, okay, Raptodon meat. What does it do? Oh, it increases my base health. Oh, gosh. I've got a ton of it, too. Okay. I want to look at the cysty bits. Oh, God, look at that. Deep fried cysty bits. Mm mm. Look at that happy little piggy on the front. So happy to give up its sissy bits. Alright, well let's add that to the junk. Let's add that to the junk. Since we have all this raptodon meat, I'll put that in my inhaler. I know that doesn't make any sense, right? To put it in my inhaler, but... As soon as I use up all of my mock apples... What do the mock apples do? Yeah, let's take that out and add the meat. Sure, why not? Hey, Kukai! Welcome to the chat room! How you doing? All right, so we had a movie trivia question. What color is Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc.? And Gentigo said red. No, I still said green. Yes, Mike Wazowski. Always watching you, Wazowski. Always watching you. He was a little round green dude. Oh, Barbarian King says, have fun all. Oh, I guess you had to leave us. All right. You left and Kukai came in. Hope you didn't miss much. Uh, well, you missed me streaming earlier. Uh, there's a 44 minute live stream that somehow got turned off. There was a glitch on YouTube, I think, or something happened because I didn't lose internet and I didn't, the game didn't crash, but suddenly the stream was just over. So I restarted and I'm just about to wrap it up. To be honest, it's almost 6 PM where I am. I need to go eat dinner. I've been streaming for about all together for about uh, three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. Good, I'm glad you're doing good, Kukai. Oh, and I don't want to forget, Celtic Granny was the winner of our Halloween giveaway during this live stream. And I'm fooling around looking at <laughs> looking at raw meat apparently. Looking at raptodon meat. What is this? The knock you out. There you 
you go. No, go back. I want you to rotate. So you're horizontal. How do I get you horizontal? <laughs> That's what he said. Alright, um, I'm gonna put that. Alright. Now we have junk to sell. Get a few bits back. Lighten up my load just a little bit. This should prove a worthwhile endeavor. What's that, Max? The quest that he just gave us? Is that what you're talking about? Let's take a look. All right, so. Uh, where is it? Vulcan's Hammer, Retrieve, Orson's Schematics. Where is that gonna be? Oh, I guess we gotta go outside. Is it supposed to be the living quarters? Seems about as livable as a coffin. Alright, let's go outside. Outside the town. And we have one more loading screen. Let's ask another movie trivia question. Who plays Dr. Sattler in the Jurassic Park movies? Uh, I believe this card is referring to the older movies. Well, I mean, I, I suppose some of the characters from the older movies showed up in the newer movies recently, didn't they? So yeah, who plays Dr. Sattler in the Jurassic Park movies? All right, so this is Vulcan's hammer. Deal with the abandoned experiment. Where is that gonna be? All the way out there. Distress signal. All the way over there. Weapon plans, Vaughn's research, Anton's research. Okay. Well, let's go back to the ship for now. I need to sort through a little bit of my inventory, maybe upgrade some of my weapons and all that before we head out again. Yeah, that meat does not look very good, does it, Celtic Granny? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that'll be our last trivia question of the live stream. Who plays Dr. Sattler in the Jurassic Park movies? I'll give you a hint. Dr. Sattler is one of the original characters from the first Jurassic Park movie. I have acquired a snake skin. Huh, okay, yeah, we picked it up laying on a bed in that one apartment. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks. She seems to have a lot more interesting things to say. I wonder if they changed that. It seemed like the first time I played through this game, back when it, you know, around the time it first came out, she would just repeat the same things over and over and over again, and it would get on my last nerve. But this time around, it seems like, you know, she's got lots of different comments, and some of them are even based on, like, what I'm doing or what I'm wearing and stuff. It's pretty cool.
All right. Um, first of all, one thing about this game is you cannot drop objects in the world. Like, I can't just walk up here and say, hey, you know what? I want to drop a bunch of bottles of alcohol on the table or put them on this cart or whatever. I can't do that. Put them on the shelves. I wish I could line the shelves with bottles of alcohol. But in your inventory, there's actually no way to drop things. There we go. So, like, if I wanted to drop this bottle of purple berry juice, I can't. It just says options, hold, add to junk, back. Options, I, I don't know what that means. I think it just means you can put it in your consumable slot, maybe? Um... <laughs> ah, stuff it in your consumable slot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, but you can store it in things. So, yeah, I'll store the alcohol. Now, I know, there's no reason for me to hang on to the alcohol. This is purely for role-playing reasons. Alright, the kitchen's up here. I wonder where the snakeskin went. It's probably in Nyoka's room, if I had to guess. Yep, there it is, on the wall. She's a hunter, so all the huntery type things go into her room. Alright, let's transfer some alcohol into the fridge for later use. We swiped some whiskey. Alright, I'm going to save that. Spectrum Vodka Red, sure. Purple Berry Juice, sure. What's this? Ooh, there we go. We swiped some whiskey from from town, from Roseway. So we'll put that in there. Put some Lemon Slap in there. Nanner spank. Sure. Gotta spank your nanners. <laughs> Purple berry wine. Purple berry liqueur. Ooh, fancy. Fizzy tea. Purple berry punch. ACT, what's this? Gigantor Energy Drink. I'll just put in one. What is this? Oh, plain and pure water. 99% water. 1% something else, I guess? <gasps> okay. Alright, I guess that's all the alcohol and drinks and things. Well, we don't need to leave all four in there. I just want to leave one of each. Alright, one of each. Very nice. Alright. Now we already did some fixing up of our weapons and armor and whatnot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we don't really need all of this stuff. Oh, what I love my Moon Man head. But let's go put it away. 
Wish we could display the Moon Man head, home, but we can't. I mean, we've got a Moon Man guy up there, but... Alright, let's store the Moon Man head. I think that's the same thing Parvati wears right there. Alright, this was uh, Felix's original clothes. We'll keep those in there. I don't think there's any compelling reason to keep a lot of these clothes. There are some quests, well at least one quest later on, that requires some clothes, but I'm not even sure I'm going to do that quest. Uh, well, in case I do, I will hang on to some of this stuff. break that down. Wrapped it on Handler's Armor. Alright, we picked this up. Uh, it has a corrosive armor rating, electrocharge surface, Nightingale Step. Perfect tool to teach bad Raptodons some manners. So maybe we want to hang on to that for this quest that we're doing right now. Oh, Kukai is guessing Laura or Lauren, I think. Forgot the last name. Wow, good guess. It is Laura. It is not Sam Neill, no. But Sam Neill was in the original Jurassic Park. He was not Dr. Sattler. Hey, Storm, how you doing? Welcome to the chat room. Gentigo says Laura Dern. There you go. Hello, Dion! This is hello, Jill Smith. Long time no see. Yeah! I haven't been live streaming on YouTube very much. I haven't been live streaming at all very much over the summer. I would live stream on Sundays. I would play Fallout 3 and, uh, you know, capture the footage that I would use for my edited videos. But, um, yeah, I'm playing Outer Worlds. We're just hanging out. It's pretty chill. It's my second playthrough, so I'm not being really thorough. I'm not exhausting all the dialogue options and doing all of the side quests and picking up all of the companions and all of that. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get to the DLC eventually. And, you know, just kind of explore and, and find things I hadn't done before. I've, I have found some things and some quests and stuff that I had missed the first time, so we're doing that kind of stuff. Right now, I'm just sorting through all of my junk. Oh, level 5, 17, level 11, 26. Yeah, that's much better. Alright, so let's break that down. Um, we'll store that for now. I guess we'll store that for now, too. I don't think we need this. Armor 14. Yeah, I mean, I've got armor 13. Let's break it down. All right, let's go see what we can do with the Raptodon Handler's armor. Yeah, we can increase it quite a bit with just a few bits. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sure, why not? Why 
Wow, it's getting expensive to level that up. <laughs> I suppose I'll need the defense. All right. So when we go on this quest, I'll probably be wearing that. Let's let's try it on. There we go. Sure, why not? Uh, we have the shock gun now instead of the shock stick, so let's go store that. Why do we have that in there? I wonder. I'm gonna break it down. Get the weapon parts from it. Huh. Right, I took Felix's grenade launcher away from him. This was his, I think. And that's mine. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap it. I don't think that the durability, yeah, when you give weapons to your companions you don't have to worry about them getting worn out or the armor either. You only have to worry about yourself. I am going to put the uh, the hammer in here. I don't really care about that. I don't know if I've ever even tried it out. Should I try it out at least? This is the super science weapon hammer. We didn't really try it out. Maybe we should. Maybe we could just go whack some canids or something. I'm not really doing melee, so... You know, it doesn't do much for me. I guess I could give it to Parvati, but... I don't know. The science weapons are kind of wacky, though. You never really know exactly what they're going to do. They, they do some weird effects. So maybe we'll try it out. Tion says, so used to seeing you play Fallout 4. Biggest fan. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I used to play a lot of Fallout 4, didn't I? And then I switched over to Fallout 3, and now I'm playing Outer Worlds. They're all very similar games, though. <laughs> they really are. I mean, they're more like each other than than other games, you know? Alright, so we have a whole bunch of quests to do. We're here in Roseway. I was thinking about skipping Roseway because there's so much to do here. We're trying to get the nav key from Gladys so we can go to Stellar Bay. And I could just go straight to Cascadia and try to fight and or sneak my way from Cascadia to Stellar Bay. But since we're here, uh, we might as well just go ahead and see if we can find some some research to go give to Gladys in exchange for the nav key. I think when I played through this game before, I I did all of the Roseway quests, but I was very, very good about it. And like, you know, I returned everyone's research to them and I helped everybody and I made a whole bunch of bits and I just went and bought the nav key straight out. I don't want to do that this time. I think this time I'm going to keep all the research that I find and take it to Gladys and trade her for the nav key and, uh, and then go to Cellar Bay. 
then once we get to Stellar Bay, we have to pick up Neoka. And once we pick up Neoka, then I think that the DLC will kick in. It, it will activate the two different... We've got Murder on Eridanos and Peril on Gorgon. Those should activate after we pick up Neoka. So then I have to decide, am I taking Felix or Neoka with me and Max? <laughs> Max always, yes, but uh, probably Felix. You know, I, I took Neoka and Max around quite a bit in my first playthrough once I picked up Neoka um, and, and did Max's quest line, then I would run around. Like the whole second half of the game I was running, or last third of the game or whatever it was, I was running around with the two of them. And I liked both of them very much. But, I don't know, maybe I'll just run around with, with just Max. Let's see how that works. Maybe, instead of two companions, just try one for some of this. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It is fun having Felix, though. I do like Felix, too. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What's my reputation with everybody? The Groundbreaker is very friendly. I haven't met the Iconoclast yet. Haven't met Monarch Stellar Industries. Haven't done anything for Sublight. The board doesn't like me a little bit. Auntie Cleo is slightly positive. The deserters are agreeable, but Spacer's choice reveres me. <laughs> okay. I'm so close to leveling up, though. I want to level up. Alright, let's go out. What did I say I was going to do? I was going to try out this hammer. Alright, so before I leave, let's try out the hammer. Let's... Put away the silencer. Let's try out the hammer. Uh, and maybe even the shrink ray. Let's see if we can go find something that's not going to kill us. That we can play around with a little bit. Just before I leave. Alright, I'm just going to go with Vicar Max. Felix, you can stay on board the ship. Ooh, isn't that pretty? So it's too bad there's no grenades or mines to use in Outer Worlds. Yeah, well, there's a grenade launcher. But, yeah, you can't just throw individual grenades. And there are mines, but they're not mines you can use, I don't think. You can't uh, get mines and put them down. But they have mines. All right, here's the hammer that I want to try out. Let's go sell my junk. Let's see if I have junk. Yeah, hold to sell junk. There we go. Where are you at, Vicar? Let's go find something to hammer, shall we? Sounds like there's something out here. What is it? Oh, it's that thing. I'll All right. Quiet. Okay. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, they're just canids. Okay. really are ugly though, aren't they? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Leveled up. 
All right, did this hammer do anything special? I didn't notice anything special. Did you notice anything special, Max? Yeah, I didn't either. Maybe there's some special way I gotta activate it. I don't know. Just seemed like a whacking hammer. The usual whacking hammer. Maybe I gotta have some kind of special perks or something for it to do something special. I don't know. Alright. Well, let's jog back to the ship. What's this way? Anything? Oh, this is our quest objective. been here before? Nope. Storage facility. Alright. Fast travel location discovered. Alright. Let's go back to the ship for now. And I will sell some junk that I just picked up and get rid of the hammer because <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah, they do have plasma weapons in Outer Worlds, like in the Fallout games, but it's red plasma, not green plasma. I mean, that's fine, you know, but yeah. And it does, like, burn damage or something. It's not quite the same as plasma. I mean, in plasma in Fallout 4, you, they disintegrate, but yeah. In this game, you can actually kind of watch them disintegrate slowly. It's kind of cool. Or slower, I think, than in Fallout. Alright, uh, inventory... What did we pick up, if anything? I thought I picked up... There we go. I picked up this. Don't need it. Break it down. Alright, let's go sell the junk. Alright, let's go on board the ship, fix up our stuff, get rid of the hammer. Oh. Did I already loot that? No, I did not. Hot dog. As long as it's plasma, you don't care what color it is, huh? Yeah, I like... Uh, plasma weapons are my favorite in Fallout. I have a plasma rifle in Fallout 4, and I... Uh, I think I had a plasma rifle in Fallout 3, too. But I also had a sniper rifle. And in Outer Worlds, in my first playthrough, I had a sniper rifle that was my favorite. My entire playthrough of Outer Worlds the first time is not on YouTube. Um, and I don't think it's archived on my Twitch channel. A lot of my live streams are archived on Twitch, but um, I don't think the Outer Worlds ones, all of them are. They might be. I don't know. But I, I made a few highlight videos for YouTube. I just kind of took, you know, 
the most interesting or the funniest moments and put them on YouTube. So there is an Outer Worlds playlist on my YouTube channel and if you go there you'll see that there's a bunch of videos but they're all short you know they're all like five minutes ten minutes something like that um, you know just little bits of my playthrough the first time around but this time the second playthrough I'm streaming it on YouTube instead of on Twitch so it'll be all of it will be here Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Ah, uh, see, now she's repeating herself. I wish she wouldn't do that. I, I, I mean, I get that it's, like, cute that she says things when, you know, you come on board the ship, but she doesn't have to say things every freaking time, you know? Alright, the shrink ray is also really fun. Um, I might hang on to it because it might come in handy later on against some really big enemies. But uh, otherwise, I suppose I'll just keep the silencer. Alright, we'll store that. Alright, I just leveled up to level 10. Let's take a look at my perks and whatnot. I gotta spend... Yeah, I got some points available. Okay, what are we gonna put points in? Uh, I suppose handguns, since that seems to be what I'm doing. Or ranged long guns. I don't think I've unlocked the ability to put points in individual skills yet. Only in categories. Alright, so what do I got here? Um, let's do tech. I haven't done tech in a while. Yeah, it reduces my tinkering cost. Our chances... Yeah, let's do tech. Gotta get it up to 40 to unlock the next level of abilities with that, but that's totally worth it. Alright, so with sneak... Steal from humans while sneaking. Uh, unlock access to restricted items in vending machines. Find more bits in containers. Alright, that might be worth it. Dialogue. Cower duration. Scramble duration. I don't know... Oh, I see. 15% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you. Humans have a chance to cower in fear after the first time you hit them. Hmm. Okay. Long guns. Critical damage. 50%. Alright, let's get this up to 40. Yeah, let's unlock some of this stuff. Handgun critical damage, long gun critical damage, heavy weapons critical damage. Um, we have one point left. <laughs> let's put it in leadership. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, I have perks. I have a perk. I can take a perk. What perk am I going to take? Uh, time dilation lasts longer? Eh. Nope, not being a lone wolf. Permanent pep in your step. Yeah, I think I do want to go faster. That's definitely... Additional ammo, don't care. Quick and the dead, don't care. Well, maybe at some point, but not right now. 
fast travel while encumbered. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with faster movement speed. I think this is this is good. Hey, and now we have unlocked the second tier. We have even more perks to pick from. Gain some tactical time dilation when you kill an enemy. Oh, that would be nice. More science weapon damage. Movement speed increased during TTD. Okay. This one's probably good for me. The collector. Increase the range at which all interactable objects around you highlight without requiring you to look directly at them. Yeah, that would be handy. Increase carrying capacity bonus from your companions. Ooh, that would be nice. <laughs> Reduce the weight of consumables. Sure. Restore health when you kill an enemy. Oh, that one. I'm definitely getting that. I'm definitely getting that. That's that's my next one right there. Yeah. Alright. Looks like we have perks for our companions now. Alright, so what do we want to do with Felix? Increase the damage dealt by ranged weapons. Increase his base armor rating. Increase damage dealt with melee. Uh, bonus persuasion when Felix is in the party. Um, let's give him an armor rating. Make him harder to kill. Absolutely. And then we've unlocked tier 3. That seems to do with, uh, reloads, speed... Bonus damage to corporate enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. These are pretty cool. Parvati. Uh, let's give her... More armor rating. Sure. Not that it matters, because I won't be taking her with me anywhere. And Vicar Max. What are we going to do with you? Oh, increase his health. Yeah, definitely. Because he keeps going down. <laughs> Gotta keep him alive longer. Alright. Awesome. Alright, I guess that's it for me today. Ooh, and that's plenty. Shout out to all of my supporters, BJ, Jen Tugo, Celtic Granny, Toss Suavo, Ice Stella, Sulfur Furious, and Just Like. If you want to add your name to that list and get a shout out in my edited videos and during my live streams, plus all kinds of other special benefits, uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jewelsmith, or you can become a YouTube member right here. The tiers are the same on YouTube as on Patreon. And the benefits are the same. And also you can be a subscriber on Twitch if you prefer, but I'm not streaming over there a whole lot anymore. Uh, I mean, I'll still, you know, I've still got the account. I'll, I'll still get your support, but um, I, you know, I don't know when I'll be back over there streaming. I'm not giving up the channel on Twitch or anything. I'm not gonna like, you know, I'm not, I'm not completely done with it or anything like that. I will still use it for uh for streaming PC games. And I do have several PC games that I want to play. So, you know, I'll be over there sometimes, but I just won't be over there much. So, probably the best thing to do if you want to throw in your support is uh other Patreon or YouTube. But there's plenty of ways to support that are not financially based. I appreciate you for spending time with me. I appreciate you for liking, subscribing, commenting. Those are also great ways to support. And to show my appreciation, I do all kinds of giveaways. Like the Halloween giveaway that I'm doing right now. Congrats to Celtic Granny for winning today's live stream Halloween giveaway. I will keep on doing Halloween giveaways every live stream until I run out of things to give away. 
<laughs> if you want to enter the Halloween giveaways, just let me know in the comments or leave a comment on this video or leave a comment somewhere else where I'll see it. <laughs> That's all you got to do. It's open to anybody, anywhere. Have a good night, Jinch Hugo. Thank you so much. Bye, Kukai. Bye, Dion. Good to see you. Have a good rest of your night. Take care of yourselves till next time. Bye!